Well, good morning internets. Here we are. We have ourselves a start to another day. It's supposed to be a, uh, a little bit of a warmer one, probably about plus 10 or so Celsius. Uh, maybe a bit of rain this evening, but I guess it is what it is. And yeah, welcome to our vlog. So, here we go. Well, it is nice to finally uh, see some sunlight and uh, see um, some warmer temperatures on the forecast. You know, April was a disaster and the early part of May was uh, um, all over the place. There's always um, usually another snow or so before the weather breaks and it's usually a wet snow right around the time the trees start to uh, bud or leaf out and usually um, some of the trees lose branches and such but I guess it is what it is. Well today I got a couple of stops I'd like to do and um, well I'm not sure if I'm going to take a walk in the park today or not because well I uh, I'm feeling it a bit. Now they say pain is just a sign of weakness leaving your body. However, uh, um, when I don't listen to my pain, then I end up paying for it and end up crashing for you know a week or whatever because I push myself. So I'm not sure if I should go for a short little walk just to say I did, or if I should just skip today and uh, go tomorrow. However, that being said, some of the things I want to do today will be probably enough of a walk uh, or walking to count as a walk. So it'll probably all, uh, you know, sort of work out in the end, right? Well, of course, um, you know, kind of been playing through things in my head. I know dealing with things that has happened in my past as well as maybe thinking about things um, that I shouldn't as well but it kind of the kind of is the way it goes you know the thought goes through my mind why did I put out uh, all that money to get those trees removed from the yard why did I pay the um, for the furnace and the hot water heater and the you know soffit fascia and, and eaves troughing why did I build that deck all in a span of you know three years or so believe me that wasn't cheap but that money that was spent there was probably um, pushing twenty thousand dollars and uh, you know that twenty thousand dollars would sure be well sure come in handy now right twenty thousand would buy a nice RV um, twenty thousand would buy um, a good down payment on a usable truck or 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 so right but at the same time sure enough if I didn't put the money out to get those trees removed they would have collapsed the one would have fallen probably on the neighbor's house and then it would have cost money in insurance um, because we had a claim you know if you're gonna put a skylight in your home at least make it your home and not your neighbors right that one tree uh, was sure soft in the center and probably only had about maybe four or so inches of actual dry wood around the outer ring and that thing was probably a at least a 24 inch across tree maybe more and we had a lot of windstorms that um that probably would have made it come down you know, the soffit, fascia, eaves troughing, furnace, and hot water heater were needing to be done. The furnace cost me a thousand bucks just the winter before, and uh, um, it still didn't work properly after I put that kind of money into it. So it uh, needed to be replaced, especially once, uh, once I found out it was upwards of 50 years old. So uh, yeah, that's not going to work. The hot water heater, well, the old one that I had was uh, getting to be 10 years old, which, uh, if I remember right, still had five years left on it before it was off of what they recommend usage. But you couldn't replace the hot water heater 
um, or you couldn't replace the furnace and leave the hot water heater alone without trying to line the chimney. And I didn't want to line the chimney because my plans were to remove the chimney when I reshingled the roof, which the roof needed to be reshingled probably in the next uh, three to four years. And as it turned out, uh, the year after it started to leak anyway, so it needed to be done or a hole or something was going on up there um, as it was. You know, why did I put that money out? Well, for starters, the trees needed to be done. The furnace and hot water heater needed to be done. The eaves troughing were literally falling off the house. They needed to be done. And at that time, when I made that choice, that seemed like a choice to me for my future because at that time, I wasn't ready to give up yet. I was still struggling to hang on, still thinking that you know, it'll get better in six months, it'll get better in six months, and then in six months you think it'll get better in six months, and I've, I've done that a few times where it's gotten better in six months, because there's been a lot of times in my life where I thought I was at rock bottom, and oh no, uh, rock bottom has a basement, you can even go further down rock bottom than what you already were. And, um, and even still, when you think you're in rock bottom, you look at others who are worse off than you and you find out maybe, you know, you aren't, aren't so bad yourself, right? So, it is what it is, right? The uh, next owners or so will uh, have less to do to that house and uh, it'll allow them to focus on other areas that need to be focused on and not have to deal with things that, that I should have done um, through maintenance of the years of owning it. However, life has a way of throwing a wrench into the best of laid plans and sometimes the plans you have in your mind when you buy this home don't come to reality because I spent um, the better part of $10,000 on a bathroom and uh, it was a nothing of a bathroom. A steel tub, uh, cheap vanity, you know, cheap toilet. The drywall was good, waterproof drywall. Uh, a a second-hand store light fixture, uh, roll end of flooring, and it added up really fast. Just imagine if I would have done um, tile floor, tile surround, fiberglass, uh, jet jacuzzi type of tub. You know, it's no wonder people can spend twenty grand on a bathroom, and then paid someone to do it too. You know. Uh, that on top of that would add probably another, you know, 40% to the bill at least. It's kind of the way life goes, right? We uh, make the choices with what we're given and sometimes they work out and sometimes they they don't. Um, not necessarily backfire, but just don't work out the way we think they're gonna. You know, if, if I could watch, could have watched the first 40 years of my life before I embarked out or at least the last 20 years of my life before I set out on my own um, I would have done things definitely different however the last 20 years of my life have been almost the same as the first 20 years of my life because uh, the first 20 years of my life were a very interesting life uh, as it was because I never really did have a childhood and I never really had the opportunity to do things that other kids my own age were doing because I had to grow up real fast to well take care of my family and and sick family members and stuff like that but it's kinda what made me and shaped me to who and what I am today and sometimes people don't want to hear what you have to say but at the same time it's true it, it it's it's true it has happened or it it does happen and People want to hear the best. They want to hear good things. You ever wondered why we never take photos of uh, bad situations? We never take photos of funerals, photos of divorces, photos of bad situations. We always take things of birthdays and weddings and happy time. Post them on social medias because we want to remember good times, not bad times. And we look at other people and they're laughing and smiling and having a great time but really deep down inside 
their life is just as bad or if not worse than what you're going through. They're just pretending it's not and they're putting on a show to uh, well, get the likes and the views and all that stuff. But pretty much guys, going to probably head her on out here in a bit. I'm going to listen to my, you know, self and if I think I can walk a bit, I'll probably walk just to say I did. If I can't, then I won't because, well, it is what it is, right? So we'll see how she goes and we'll catch you all later. Well, we uh, went out this morning and did a little bit of running around. Uh, put some fuel in the truck. Sure doesn't take long to go through a tank of fuel when you're doing running around and uh, trying to tie up loose ends and stuff. Um, I was going to go through a walk in the park, however, um, feeling a little bit rough today, so I didn't. Um, Currently, I'm fighting um, almost like flu-like symptoms that seem to come on uh, today. So either I've caught a cold, which uh, is kind of normal for this time of year for me, or this is a sign of uh, that I overdid it and I'm going to crash for a week. Because usually, this is what happens before. And I guess if it happens, it happens. Uh, if it does, it does. If it doesn't, well then, you know, we're lucky, right? I'm not 100% sure what tomorrow's going to hold, but uh, we'll play that one as it rolls and unfolds. Like I said, today was a good one. A little bit of a testing day, a little bit of a quieter day. Got some stuff done in the morning, relaxed for the afternoon. Um, one of these days I need to uh, do a cleanup on the camper now that the warmer weather's here. You know how when a trailer sits for the better part of a year it collects cobwebs and stuff and you know the the people that I'm borrowing it from are nice enough to let me use it. So I don't really want to demand that they clean it um, as well, right? So uh, there's some there's some cobwebs in there and a little bit of dust and a couple things but no mice or anything like that by far but just the normal from sitting as well as last fall there I jammed a bunch of stuff in there because they were nice enough to let me fill it full of my garbage before uh, well before I dropped it off there right kind of well it wasn't going to be used for the winter and as long as I had it out of the trailer for the summer so if they wanted to use it or the, or somebody else wanted to use it then it was free so everything will work out the way it's uh, supposed to work out right you know like I mentioned there earlier if your life was on videotape you could uh, watch everything that was going to happen in your life and make choices to counteract it or um, roll with the punches as it unfolds but your life is not uh, on videotape and you uh, have to live with what happens and live with the uh, outcomes day to day regardless of whether they are good or bad or not uh, you don't understand them at the time you know the money that I wasted on the house all those years was pretty much equal to paying rent anyway so essentially I rented a house for uh, 12 years <clears throat> so essentially I rented a house for 12 years and um, in terms of the upgrades or the maintenance that I had to do to it well there's a certain quality of life that you have to do to um, for maintenance wise to keep the heat on or to keep the basement from filling full of water or to keep to have hot water and you know cutting down them trees well they were going to come down regardless of whether I cut them down or not and and sure the power company went through the area and and cut down a lot of those problem trees but that was like four years after they sent out a notice saying they were going to do it so uh during those four years um, a lot could have happened right and uh, I am sure glad that I went with the uh, the cheap guy to do the job not the guy that wanted to charge twelve thousand bucks or sixteen thousand dollars to do the same job so 
because that would have really uh, well that was above and beyond what I what uh, was able to be put out at the time the furnace and hot water heater are just what they are you know I tried to sell them at the yard sale but uh, it probably would have helped too if they were deinstalled from uh, from the house and sitting on the lawn but uh, you know how that goes right but gonna end them all here today was a good one tomorrow's another day and around around we roll and as always thanks for watching Maxwell's vlogs comment subscribe and enjoy